Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in this video i will perform a two way anova to investigate the effect of present type and gender on the bdi after that i will explain you that how we can report the results in the apa format to perform the analysis in the spss go to analyze then go to glm general linear model univariate we will have to select the dependent variable so move this bdi to dependent variable select present type and gender and move them to the fixed factors after that click on the model our model is full factorial click continue then contrast there is nothing to do there click continue then plots i need the present type in horizontal axis and gender on the separate axis and then click on add then continue post hoc test i i want to perform the post hoc test on both gender and present type so move them to this window and then select two keys click continue then em means so i need the mean of all of them select all of them and then click on this arrow and they will be display means for all of them click continue then click on the save so nothing we have we need click continue then options i need a descriptive statistics homogeneity of test estimates of effect size and then click continue we have nothing to do with the bootstrap click okay there are four categories for the present type and 25 prisoner from each category have been participated in the survey collection however there are 54 females and 46 males who participated in the survey the, the descriptive statistics is showing that for each present type what is the mean bdi for male and female along with that how many number of females and males are in the specific category so likewise we have four categories and the description is provided in the descriptives levine test for the equality of variances is found to be significant it means that the variance is equal among the categories test of between subjects effect so we can see it here that present type has a p value less than 0.001 it is found to be a significant then gender 0.003 it is also significant the interaction of present type and gender has also p value less than 0.05 0.05 so it is significant however our model as a whole the corrected the corrected model with a p value of less than 0.01 it is a significant predictor of bdi further the present type has the highest partial eta square value of 0.427 it means that it has the highest effect on the bdi as the model for the between subject is found to be significant now we have to perform a post hoc test so we have performed two keys hst in this post hoc test all four categories for the present type has been compared so the highest section with the house arrest it is found to be a significant high sec with low sec significant high sec with the mid sec also found to be significant you can see that all of them are found to be significant except low sec and middle section again you can see it here the middle section and the low section this is the plot that is showing that we have a significant interaction why because these li these lines are intersecting each other further the lowest bdi is for the blue color line now the blue color line is for the females it means that the lowest bdi is for the female at the house arrest category whereas the females for the highest section has the highest so that's the part of the analysis now we come towards the report so we will say a two way analysis of variance was conducted to examine the effects of present type gender and interaction of present type and gender on the bdi there was a significant main effect of present type on the bdi then write f392 why because 3 degree of freedom for the present type and 92 degrees of freedom for the error term and then i will write this f value 22.84 so comma the p value is less than 0.001 you can see it here that the p value associated with 22.84 is less than 0.0 after that we will have to discuss there was also a significant main effect of gender on the bdi similarly you will have to pick this degree of freedom again i am telling you 1 and 92 so we go towards there 
one degree of freedom for the gender and 92 for the error the f value will be 9.03 and significance p value 0.003 so i have written this additionally there was a significant interaction between present type and gender f392 is the f value is 5.15 the p value 0.000 Post hoc test using the Tuki HST test revealed that significant differences between all levels of present type except middle section and low section are found. Further, the Tuki HST test revealed that significant difference between male and female also exist. Now based upon this table of the multiple comparisons, these multiple comparisons are only performed for the present type. However, in our case, we have age is significant, present type is significant and their interaction is as significant as well. I have also performed the post hoc comparisons of the interaction, present type and gender. So you can see it here, you can see it here that the males in the highest section are compared with the females in the highest section and there, there is a significant difference found. P to key is 0 0.017. Again, these males in the highest section are compared with the male middle section, female middle section, male low section and female low section. And in the same way, this whole interaction post hoc has been performed. And this is the report for such post hoc test. You can see it here. There was a significant interaction of male in the highest section with the female in the highest section. P value less than 0. P value is equal to 0 0.017. And the female in the house arrest, there was also a significant interaction of female with the high section with the males in all present types. So you will be better able to understand this interpretation once you have the image of those results in a separate tab. So I suggest you to please take a snap of those results in a separate and keep them in a separate tab and then read this whole description so that we, you will better able to understand. Thanks for watching the video. I've also performed the same test in the Jumovi. So you can watch that video as well. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.